Hey there, lovely people! Welcome back to another exciting haul video. Today, I've got a real treat for you as I unbox some amazing, budget-friendly canvases. And guess what? Some even come with ABs. I'm crossing my fingers for some stunning painting picks. So without further ado, let's dive right in. I'm a bit of a nerd, and my heart beats for all things Lord of the Rings. So, when I stumbled upon this gem, I simply couldn't resist. I've only ever done one Lord of the Rings-themed diamond painting before, and it was a breathtaking view of Rivendell. But this time, we're diving deeper into Middle-earth with Gandalf himself. Take a peek under his iconic hat, and you'll spot the Misty Mountains along with the Full Fellowship. It's incredible how clearly you can identify each member of the company in the thumbnail. I hope it'll look just as amazing once it's complete. And down below, we've got Gollum lurking in the dark depths of Moria. Sure, there's a ton of black in this painting, but hey, I'm not afraid of a little color blocking. This is a 40 by 60 centimeter canvas. This beauty comes with a budget-friendly toolkit and round drills, no specials ones. But hey, you can always upgrade with your own. All right, let's dive into the second painting now. What I'm showing you is something I specifically picked up, much like those from Diamond Art Club that I showed you some time ago, with the intention of hanging it in my mountain house. It's quite sizable, measuring 80 by 40 centimeter, and I just know it'll look stunning when hung up. With its light colors, it's bound to add a touch of brightness to the room. This one's a bit heavy on the confetti, not exactly my cup of tea, but hey, I'm willing to bet the end result will be absolutely stunning. Seems like this one also comes with round drills and the usual toolkit. The third canvas is somewhat outside of my usual preferences. It seems like everyone's jumped on the tiger-themed canvas bandwagon, especially in those Facebook groups. It's practically a rite of passage. So, I decided it was high time I got in on the action and picked one out for myself. This particular one caught my eye because of its vibrant colors. However, it turns out it might not have been the best choice after all. The rendering of the design doesn't quite convince me, and it seems a bit too dark for my liking. With this one, we've got a slightly more advanced toolkit, including tweezers, multi-placers, and a tray with a funnel, along with plenty of wax. I must say, the quality of this painting is different from the two I showed you earlier. The canvas is much thinner and softer, and even the symbols printed on it are much clearer. And guess what? This one comes with AB drills. I'm not sure. Maybe once it's done, it'll turn out to be beautiful. But for now, it just hasn't won me over. Introducing the fourth canvas, the first Disney-themed painting in this hall. Last summer, I went to Disneyland Paris for the first time ever. And let me tell you, it sparked a newfound love for Mickey Mouse in my heart. While I've always adored Disney, Mickey has now become my absolute favorite. I'm taking a bit of a leap of faith with this one, because even in the website pictures, it looks a tad too dark to be promising. But I simply couldn't resist. I was hoping that the presence of ABs in the kit would help brighten up the design a bit. This piece has a retro-inspired vibe, it features some very dark and toned out colors, but I'm holding out hope that it'll look fantastic once completed. Only three canvases left, and I'm really hoping they live up to my expectations, because these are the ones I've been most excited about. The images were absolutely stunning. The first one I'm showing you is this fantasy-style female portrait. I'm absolutely enamored with her and the fact that it comes with ABs is always a delightful bonus. However, I'm not particularly fond of the white background, as any misplacement of drills becomes more noticeable. Fingers crossed it. Turns out beautiful once completed, because my idea was to hang it up like a painting. As I mentioned earlier, these canvases have better quality compared to the first two I showed you. I can't wait to start working on them to see if they truly are superior.
The last two canvases are the true stars of this hall. Can you guess what the subject is? They are both Disney princesses. The first one I'm showing you is Belle. She was one of my favorite princesses growing up, and I fell in love with this particular artwork. I love the details, the roses, the castle in the background, and the two-colored dress. This one has square drills and measures 80 by 40 centimeters, so it will require a lot of patience and time to finish it. Sadly, it comes with no ABs, but it is a stunner anyway. We finally reached the last diamond painting for this haul. As I mentioned earlier, it's another Disney princess. And it's Snow White. Now, as a princess, she has never particularly thrilled me, but this artwork is exceptionally beautiful. I love the long black hair, the white dress, giving her a more mature appearance. And the forest setting adds a very gothic, dark tone that I find quite appealing. My only complaint concerns this animal in particular. It's really strange. But in a way, I think it resembles one of those images of fantastical creatures found in old medieval books. What do you think? Thank you for joining me on this haul, and I can't wait to share the final results with you. Don't forget to leave a comment down below with your favorite, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos.